All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying up the Maryland Shad fly number two. This fly is part of the Pfeiffer collection. It calls for a size 10, 3X, 4X, um, or 6X long hook. I've got a size 10, 3X long in the uh, vise right now. It is a TM Co. 5263. I'm going to be tying this fly with uh, some Danville's nylon in uh, fluorescent white. Alright, I'm going to start about oh, one and a half um, eye lengths behind the eye and go ahead and, and take my thread down to the barb. And trim away our excess thread. <clears throat> uh, the tail calls for some golden pheasant tippet, so I'm just going to pull a, a small feather from the neck, and I'm going to peel away all but kind of that center section of the tippet there. Um, that's about right. Maybe a little bit more. Sometimes it wants to roll on you, so just be patient. Take your time. And because it has a tendency to roll, I like to just allow the stem to lay where it wants to naturally and then just advance using some loose wraps up the shank of the hook back up to your starting point and then trim and then trim that uh, excess stem and then we'll bring our thread back down back down to the tail and we're going to tie in some silver tinsel that we're going to use for a ribbing and I need six eight inches of that And for the body, I'm going to be using a white um, fine chenille, very small diameter chenille. I'm going to tie that on um, at the rear of the fly. And then just advance our thread forward. and then just trim off the excess there. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and wrap our body with the chenille. and then capture it with our thread. And then snip away the excess. All 
All right, we're going to now take our tinsel and advance it forward. Try to keep your wraps even. And then capture your tinsel. And trim away the excess tinsel. Alright, so next we're going to tie on a throat. And uh, to do that I'm going to use a, a white saddle hackle um, and just pull off a section of barbs. Um, say about that thick. I like a webbier hackle for throats, so I just think it looks better. And you want the tips of your throat to be um, basically as long as your well, they should touch the tip of the hook. Give a couple loose wraps and check your uh, length. Looks pretty good. Slight adjustment. And I'll advance my thread forward another couple wraps and trim away the excess. And then bring our thread back. Okay, so next we're going to tie on a wing. Um, I'm going to use two saddle hackle feathers that are pretty well matched. I've got them um, tips aligned right now. And um, we only need the tip of the feather, but we need to kind of measure the, the distance or length of the, the wing. So your, your wing should be about the length of the tail. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to peel back some of the barb so I know where to trim the feather and give them a trim and then I want to strip away just the ends the end barb so you end up with some tips to tie in with and place those on top of the head capture them with one or two light wraps and then just check to make sure the feather lays correctly. That looks pretty good. And then just advance our thread forward and we'll start to build up ahead. And you need a decent sized cone head because the pattern calls for uh, some red eyes uh, to be painted on. I'd say that looks pretty good. Go ahead and give it a whip finish. And trim away our thread. Careful not to cut the thread. Alright, before we paint on some eyes, I like to touch the head with some Sally Hansen's just to protect the thread wraps. And we'll let that dry. Alright, the clear coat is finished drying. Next I'm going to paint on some red eyes. I'm just going to use some red nail polish and a small nail that I have uh, just the tip filed down on. <clears throat> just going to touch the nail in the nail polish. Get a drop on that. 
and then I just want to touch the paint drop to the head without touching the nail to the head if at all possible. That looks pretty good. So now we need to let that dry <clears throat> and we'll hit it with one more uh, coat of Sally Hansen's. Alright, now that our eyes are dried, we're just going to touch the head one more time with some Sally Hansen's to protect the eyes. And that is the Marilyn Shad Fly number two. Very nice looking fly.